your house can be pretty boring, basically because it eats into your photography time. So I'm gonna show you a way to combine both cleaning and photography. We're gonna be doing light paintings with robot vacuum cleaners. So for this, you'll need obviously a robot vacuum cleaner. We're using a Samsung Navibot because it's got some LED lights on the top, but any other robot vacuum cleaner you have access to should be fine. A DSLR and a wide angle lens. For this tutorial, I'm using a 24 millimeter lens, but you can also use the kit 18 to 55 millimeter lens that came with your DSLR. Just use it around the 18 to 35 millimeter mark. You'll also need a remote shutter release. This is because you'll be shooting in bulb mode and you're gonna to need to release the shutter remotely. Finally, you'll need a tripod or something sturdy to keep your camera on while it's taking photos over the course of a couple of minutes. Next step is to set up your DSLR. Put it on the tripod and find bulb mode. On some cameras, this is found in your manual exposure mode. Keep flicking the shutter speed dial until you find a B. On other cameras, there is a specific mode on the dial that is denoted by B. Find this and turn it on. Then you'll set your aperture. You'll probably want to set something between f8 to f11 to get started with. You want it reasonably narrow so you're not letting in too much extra light, just getting the light from the robot vacuum cleaner. Then your shutter speed is obviously determined by your shutter release. Now for this particular how-to, you're going to be using a shutter release where you can lock the shutter button down using the remote. Now it's time to turn off the lights and start taking photos. There's no particular best time to leave your shutter. Try and experiment around two to three minutes to get started with and take a look and see what kind of light trails your cleaner is leaving. If you're finding that you're not seeing enough of the light trails, you might wanna open up your aperture, so move it down to something like f5.6 or even lower if your lens will let you. Now we've played around with some of the effects that are given from using the built-in LED lights on the robot vacuum cleaner, we can get a bit more creative. Think about buying a battery powered LED. Now this is a little bit stronger and you can attach it to the top of your robot vacuum cleaner and let it go. And finally, if you want to get super creative and you've got access to two or more robot vacuum cleaners, think about putting them both on the floor at the same time, letting them go, and you can even do some cool experiments like putting coloured cellophane on top of the lights to give different coloured light effects. So this has been how to do light painting effects with a robot vacuum cleaner. Hopefully you've had fun and it's made you think a bit more about the tools you can use for light painting. I'm Lexi Savides for CNET. Make sure to check out the full text of this tutorial over at the website.